the Mega Man X task is next level. And we're about to find out why. Because first of all, Mega Man X is literally the next level of Mega Man. It is Mega Man X. It's on the Super Nintendo. I mean, we just looked at Mega Man games that were on the Switch and PC. But that aside, Mega Man X is the upgraded version of the classic Mega Man series, as I'm sure most of you are aware. And the task is going to be no exception. Now, starting with the intro stage, we probably aren't going to see anything crazy because we don't even have the dash boots. But we are going to see some very precise shots at lemons just from the start, which is always fun to see. But I will go ahead and warn you, the intro stage will probably not be the most entertaining thing in the world unless there's a glitch I'm unaware of. Well, okay. Being able to jump on top of those big ugly bees, that's pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. But, again, this should be a pretty straightforward... Okay, oh, okay, you know what? I was going to say this is a straightforward stage, but I should have known better because this is TAS. And TAS never makes anything straightforward. We get to see tricks. I mean, nice aim once again, of course. There won't be a lot to talk about here, so uh, let me just go ahead and address something. I am still going to do the no dash challenge for Mega Man X, but I am currently out of town when you're watching this, so I thought it would be easier to make this video than that other video, because these are easier to make. Plus, you guys have been asking for the Mega Man X task videos, and I don't want to let you down. Might as well do it, right? I'm excited to watch this with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this too. Now, we are about to see an interesting trick here. First of all, Mega Man is getting damaged a little bit because uh, if you don't know, the bio cutscene is you can't really win it. Or you can, but it's faster to just damage yourself. And there's a trick by going past, maybe it's that light pole, maybe it's the next one. But if you kill a certain amount of cars past one of those light poles, and it must be that one, yeah. So you see that light thing in the background, the purple stem and the green yellow light. Once you stand past that one, I think you only have to kill two cars, but if you stand before it, you don't. And basically, all that was to make sure the less of those cars spawned in this bio fight went by very fast. But now, we have a cutscene, and uh, I'm sure you guys know what happens here, so let's just move on. Now, we are, of course, starting with Chill Penguin stage, and that is because Chill Penguin has the dash boots, which, again, I will not be getting in my no dash challenge, so, uh... There is that. But this isn't a no dash challenge. This is a speed run and a task no less. So we're going to be getting the dash boots as soon as possible. Again, the gameplay is going to look slow for just a little bit longer. But trust me, as soon as we get the dash boots, things are going to go next level, like I said in the intro. And uh, yeah, so we're at Chill Penguin stage. Like, not a lot at the very beginning, but the dash boots are right around the corner. We are seeing some nice snipes though by Tass. Tass never misses a shot. Anything Tass does is for a reason. I mean, look at this. Has Tass missed any shot yet? I'm... Oh, what kind of wa nice wall jumping? Jeez. Oh, wow. That's a hard jump to make right there. Oh, my God. Using the slopes to make these impossible jumps. Oh, my gosh. And here we are. We're getting the dash boots. I I'm not going to make you sit through all this talking, though. And there we go. Mega Man officially is able to dash. And, uh, of course, we get to see an example of that. And here we go. The run really begins here. Again, we're seeing snipes. We're seeing dashes. Finally, it only took a... Not that long, really, but... The whole, the whole game's about to open up. Was that a backwards wall jump on that thing? That was insanity. I wish there was a way to break open that thing with just the buster. Because being having to backtrack on Chill Penguin stage of all things is annoying. And this is not a 100% run. If you want to see a 100% items run, uh, leave a comment down below. Because that's going to be probably a lot more interesting. We're probably not going to get like any hard tanks in this run. Because it's TAS and it's any percent. Meaning like... It's just slow to pick up hard tanks. But it's time to battle Chill Penguin! Let's see how Mega Man X fares. Surely it won't be that crazy. Oh, wow. Froze himself. Oh, my gosh. Now, if you're wondering why Mega Man X is shooting the uh, lemons, which normally only do one damage, they're doing more than one damage because X is dashing. And for some reason in this game, if you shoot a lemon while dashing, it does more than one damage. I don't know why that is, but clearly it was effective in defeating Chill Penguin. And next up, we have Boomer Kawanger. Oh, yeah. Now, I love this stage. I think this is one of the best levels in the game. And oh, my goodness gracious, Tass is going insane. When you give Tass a vertical level that has the opportunity to create complicated movement and impressive feats, we're going to see them by golly gee. Oh my gosh, this is, what, what are we looking at here? This is the definition of TAS speedruns, if I've ever seen it. Using the shotgun, whoa, jumping off of the spikes. I mean, my goodness, this is, an, I've never seen anybody do this. I've seen a lot of, why, why is no damage being taken? What is happening? There was damage taken there, finally. Is this a frame perfect trick somehow? And then TAS died? Is this a death warp? I guess it is. I don't understand how that worked or what that was about, but... That's insane. I've seen a lot of Mega Man X speedruns by human beings, by the way, but I have never once seen a task run of this. And that, I've never seen anything like that. First of all, just the wall jumping of this is obviously inhumanly precise. But going up that auto scroller, I've never seen anybody do that. Normally, the strat is to like damage boost through the platforms or whatever. And oh my goodness gracious. Look at, look, oh, look at that climb. 
What a climb. The stage is already done. Let's fight Boomer Kawanger. And let's see how this battle goes. There are a few ways to make this fight easier, but I'm sure Taz would never stoop to such levels. You could basically chain Boomer Kawanger and, like, hit him over and over again and make the fight really easy, Buster only. But, uh, Taz doesn't have to do that. Taz can just have fun. And Boomer Kawanger's dead. And next up, we have Sting Chameleon, who is weak to Boomer Kawanger. This is another stage that's pretty good. It's not on the same level as Boomer Kawanger's by any means, but this stage is cool. I'd say it's probably underrated. It was weird that this was in the Mega Man X Minecraft pack. I don't know if you guys remember that when Minecraft collapsed with Mega Man X for some reason. I did make a video on it if you want to see it, but very strange thing to happen. I don't get it, but this is so fast. I mean, it's Tass. We're seeing a lot of dashing, but... This level is just trivialized already. We're already, like, almost done with the level. I didn't realize how short this level was when you just treat it like this. <laughs> I assume it's faster to go inside, uh, this thing. Did I just hear the uh, noise for a sub-tank fill up? When, when did X get a sub-tank? Okay, well, that's the level. Let's fight Sting Chameleon. <laughs> and after taking a look at the fastest stage of all time, let's see if Tass does the exploit. Yep, Tass is doing the exploit. Even Tass is going to do the exploit. Except Tass is doing it a whole lot cooler, hitting every frame right when the invincibility frames end. I mean, good. What an impressive stage and an impressive fight to top it off. And next up, we have Storm Eagle, who is weak to Sting Chameleon. Now, in the 100% run, this would be a much different route, but if you guys want to see that, leave a comment down below. For now, let's see how Mega Man X fares in the any percent route. Of course, you do have to ride these platforms i don't think there's any good way to skip these uh there is a glitch you can do here but i think it's to get a heart tank and not to uh you know skip that part and that that was the game lagging by the way that was not the video or uh yeah it wasn't the video oh okay well we see a glitch there it is <laughs> we were just talking about glitching the platforms with this weapon but i didn't know you could do it like this Mega Man is zooming through the entire stage oh my gosh what did that just turn into what what sprite is that from what is happening and going in from the bottom? Going in from the bottom? <laughs> this is insanity. Didn't even have to go through the boss doors. We're already at the Storm Eagle boss fight. What did we just witness? <laughs> okay, this this might be the most impressive task run we've ever seen. Mega Man X is so much more complicated and like has so many more intricacies than the other games. And, like, I don't know which one's my favorite task. Maybe I'll rank them all afterwards if you guys want to see a video on that. But what we've seen so far is immaculate I, I mean i really hope you guys are enjoying this as much as me this is amazing and next up we have spark mandrel whose mini boss is weak to storm eagle but this guy's weak to chill penguins weapons and now this is a banger stage we got a banger track playing in the background we're seeing some really nice pre uh not precision just some fast shooting here of course tasik can uh Tass can play really fast, best speedrunner of all time. I don't know if you guys knew, Tass has the world record in every category ever made, except for um, that one challenge in the Mega Man Legacy Collection where I beat Tass, but I already made a video on that. Ooh, and wow, shooting there, just to get that extra damage in while the, the door closes. Well, okay, so I assumed we went to the stage after Storm Eagle because of the, uh, you know, Storm Eagle's tornado weapon. It makes that mini boss very fast, but I guess Tass doesn't care. Maybe it's faster to kill that guy without using the tornado. Oh, you know what it is? Storm Eagle is the weakness of that boss, and it's extra fast when you have the Buster upgrade. But Ta this is any percent, so Tass is probably only going to get the Dash upgrade. Um, I think Zero does give you the Buster upgrade if you don't collect it yourself by the time you get to the Sigma Fortress, but I assume we're not getting any upgrades. We haven't gotten a single hard tank. We haven't gotten a sub tank. We're just seeing some really fast gameplay, and that's why the stage is already over, and it's time to fight Spark Mandrel. And here's Spark Mandrel. Let's see how he fares. Okay, he turns into ice. This is known as one of the easiest bosses ever, if not the easiest, to the point where um, bosses that you can chain like this have something called Spark Mandrel Syndrome, named after uh, Spark Mandrel. And uh, he is, of course, dead. And next up, we have Armored Armadillo Stage. What a cute robot ma- er Maverick, this is. You gotta love Armored Armadillo stage. I mean, we have these fun uh, roller coasters you get to ride. And, uh, I mean, I guess that is the most... Ooh, ooh, using the physics to manipulate the jump to dash even further. Very nice, very nice by Tass. I wonder if the uh, the big scary crusher guy is gonna catch up to Tass. Tass better go fast or else uh, he might get crushed by that, by that guy behind him. Okay, it's nice weapon swapping. Once again, we do get uh, the LNR weapon switch in this game. Ooh, taking the platform down to go faster. What a play here. <laughs> this is so cool. I was excited to see some platform mechanics like that, but uh, I don't know what I expected, to be honest. I guess I wasn't really expecting anything. I was just, like, excited for it, and so far, Tass is delivering as always. 
going ahead of the platform when it's faster to reduce lag, and then jumping back on the platform to get that nice dash jump. I mean, oh my goodness. And wow, landing perfectly on the platform to complete the stage right before this, the Armored Armadillo boss fight. And here's Armored Armadillo. How is this fight going to go? He is weak to Spark Mandrill, so uh, Tass electrocutes his armor off of his body, which allows Spark Mandrill to now be damaged at any point. And uh, he's already almost dead. I mean... That's, that's Mega Man weaknesses for you. And next up, we have Launch Octopus, what some would call the hardest Maverick and the hardest stage from this game, but really all the stages of Mavericks are easy in this game, unless you don't have the dash boots, but we'll see about that another day, guys. Don't worry. I've already committed to that. That will happen. And I'll be the judge. And again, we're just seeing such clean gameplay. Like, I assume we're not going to see many glitches here. I could be wrong. Again, I haven't seen this run, but just... All these stages are just getting trivialized. I know I've said that already, but I can't think of a better word. Like, these stages feel so much longer when you're playing the game. It's like, oh, there's this part of the stage that's difficult, this part. And Tash just, just dashes and goes. It's like, okay, goodbye. Like, Sting Chameleons was the best example. That stage was like 20 seconds long. Absurd. And the 100% run, if we get to watch that, which is completely up to you guys. I'm not going to watch it if you don't want to watch it. I'm sure that's going to be even crazier because we're going to see tricks and gameplay like this on top of getting 100% of the items. I mean, you guys saw the Rockman and Forte task, right? For the 100 discs. I mean, come on. And the stage is already done. I thought this was one of the longer stages in the game. But I guess it's time to fight Launch Octopus. And here's Launch Octopus. Will Task cut off his tentacles? Nope, doesn't look like it. I guess that's slow. Instead, we're going to be using Armored Armadillo's balls to do the most damage, which is his weakness. Oh, it looked like for a second he was going to cut his tentacles off, but he didn't do it. Tass decided against it. I guess that's animal cruelty. Good on you, Tass. And a good fight. And now it's time for Flame Mammoth, which is a very surprising final pick for a Maverick, I'd say, but... I'm not going to judge Tass. Tass obviously knows what Tass is doing. I mean, this is the number one speedrunner on the planet we're talking about, not just for Mega Man or Mega Man X for that matter. And of course, we're just seeing some sliding on the conveyor belts, some nice weapon switching. Again, the L and R being in incorporated into the Mega Man games is one of the best features in my opinion. I mean, like, Mega Man's great. You can argue so many different features are really good, but being able to switch weapons with L and R, what, what a great thing. It's something that's underappreciated in casual playthroughs, but like, when you get to watch tasks like this, it's like, come on. I don't know. Again, I'm, a, I'm usually at a loss for words despite my talking so much, which is kind of a paradox or whatever you want to call that. But anyway, this is some nice gameplay we're watching here. It, the stage is done? The sta I, thought this, I thought that was like the halfway point. What? I guess let's fight Flame Mammoth. Let's see what Flame Mammoth got. Flame Mammoth has got. Using the Storm Eagle's weapon, of course, Flame Mammoth is trying to kill Mega Man. Again, we have no upgrades, no armor, no hard tanks, no nothing. So it's very easy to die, but Mega Man didn't die. Tass survives another level. Good job, Tass. Oh, it's zero. It's zero. I wonder what he's saying. If only I could read, then I could uh, maybe tell you guys what he's saying. Oh, and Sigma stages are unlocked. It's time for the Sigma stages. And unlike the Wily stage, you don't have to listen to an awful, horrible noise, so that's good. Hey, it's zero again. What's up, Zero? Um, I, I don't know what he said, but... Okay, we didn't get the upgraded Buster. I guess that's when Zero... Uh, I'm, I, never mind, I'm, I'm not going to spoil the game. Maybe we'll get... What? What? <laughs> what was that? How did Mega Man get a platform out of that? I know there's a glitch where, you you know, you use Boomer Kowanger's weapon and... Oh, skipping the cutscene. This is a glitch where you can... There's normally a cutscene here, like you're unable to move. You hear those noises? Oh, maybe, maybe that didn't skip it. Okay, no, so you're being able to move. Obviously, this is a glitch. And there's some trigger that you skip by wall jumping very precisely like that. And obviously, it saves time. You get to do this as well. I mean, what what a trick. I don't know fully how it works, but that's why Mega Man did that weird wall jump before going into the boss doors. And uh, Zero, what are you doing? Why are you blowing up? Is that Was that some crazy attack on Vile or something? Oh, uh, you, you forgot to kill him, Zero. You should come back and uh, finish the job. I... Uh, this is now's not a time for taking a nap, Zero. Oh, and the health bar is so low. I guess it is literally faster to get uh, no heart tanks <laughs> because your health bar doesn't have to fill up. That's crazy. And how is Tass going to take down Vile? Very quickly and easily, that's how. Well, goodbye, Vile. That was, uh, I was going to say an impressive fight by Vile, but it wasn't. It was an impressive fight by Tass. It made Vile look really bad. Oh, oh, Zero. Zero, wake up. Zero's bleeding. Zero's bleeding. Ah! That's not good. He disintegrated. Oh, and also he gave Mega Man his buster. There we go. That's how you get the buster upgrade when you don't have, uh, when you don't get any of the upgrades. So it's faster to get it like that. There's no way around it. You're gonna get the buster upgrade. 
but yeah, here we go. We're seeing some really clean climbing once again. Wh what? Did X do the Boomer Kuwanger glitch with... <laughs> what is happening? What is going on? Why? How is this faster? How is that any fa- What? Do you guys know what's happening here? I mean, I assume X did the same glitch with the, uh, you know, getting those platforms with Boomer Kowanger's weapon, but with the boss door somehow? And I guess skip the fight? But I- I'm- what, what was that? What was that? That was insane. That's what it was. Oh, and we're getting some great spider patterns here. Apparently charged up uh, ice is a weakness. I never knew that. I always just Hadouken this guy. Oh, Tass knows exactly where the spider's going. Getting these straight down patterns is crazy. I don't think I've ever gotten one of those. And Tass has gotten, what, four? Four straight down patterns. And the ones that aren't straight down are just like one, one row. My goodness. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm still at a loss of words of how we got here. But, I mean, hey, that's the spider boss fight. <laughs> Good job, Tass. And now it's time for Sigma 2. Here we go. Let's see how many crazy things happen. Didn't even have to say it. Didn't even have to say it. <laughs> I was going to say, let's see how many crazy things happen this time. But we already got one. We got more than enough, honestly. Every time I see that trick, I'm very happy. All right, who is this? Chill Penguin or Icy Penguin... Penguinito? Penguinino? I don't remember his Japanese name, but it's something like that. He's icy and not chill in Japan. And, uh, yeah, so Tass is just burning this penguin alive. Not very cool. I thought Tass was against animal cruelty, judging by the launch octopus fight, but whatever's faster, I guess, right? I mean, we've seen Tass play Super Metroid. The animals usually die, but I haven't made any Metroid videos yet. One day I will. If you guys like Metroid and you want to see some Metroid videos, let me know, because I want to make Metroid videos. We do have a lot more Mega Man videos to make, don't you worry, but... Let's just focus on the run. This is insane. I can't I can't get distracted from this too much is happening at once such great wall climbing We just witnessed and of course now we have to kill storm eagle. How is this fight gonna go? I assume fast Most of most of the fights have been fast. Oh and standing on the right side of the screen just ready. He just knows Tass is confident he's gonna win this boss fight crazy. Oh I was about to say dang you got unlucky with storm eagle going off screen because you know it the more swoops you get the longer the fight is but Tass was ready for it, killing him off screen and on the far right to be able to continue. Oh my gosh, and then using Sting Chameleon's charge shot, the best weapon in the game. I know I said this was the best weapon in the game. I like that weapon way too much. And here we go, it's time for Rangda Bangda, I believe his name is. Let's see how this fight goes. We're probably going to get good RNG. It is Tass. Tass tends to be pretty lucky. I'm pretty sure this is the best RNG you can get. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Great RNG and standing on the spikes just for fun. There's no way that was faster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again, I'm at a loss for words. Great fight. And now it's time for Sigma Stage 3. This is mostly a refight stage, but there are some levels in between as we'll see. Now, this is a refight skip. That charge shot with the uh, ice weapon, I don't know how it works, but for some reason, specifically on that corridor, you can skip it. I don't think you can do it with the others. The only other refight skip I've ever seen was today, earlier, in uh, Sigma Stage 1. Wasn't expecting that, but hey, it's another fun glitch. <laughs> I was unaware of that. Maybe we'll see some more, though. Who knows? And once again, Sting Chameleon doesn't have anything on Mega Man or Tass, if we're being real. I mean, he just jumps around and then gets hit by a boomerang. And Tass is clearly very proficient with the boomerang usage. We've seen it used for... A multitude of different things, and killing Sting Chameleon is just the icing on the cake, really. The cherry on top, if you will. I don't know why they're both sweets analogies, but... Look at how those enemies were killed, by the way. That was very clean, and partially unnecessary, but I'm sure there was a reason for it. It's probably RNG manipulation. But anyway, Spark Mandrel, it's time for you to die now. Oh, wow. <laughs> the task is flexed and switching to every weapon. <laughs> <laughs> why Why is Tass doing that? <laughs> Unless it's RNG manipulation, Tass is just showing off. I don't understand it. But you know what? Great fight as always. Good job, Tass. What else can I say? I guess I could probably say something else, but I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Tass is avoiding getting eaten by all of those Vorfish. Good job, Tass. We do not want to see that. And it's time for Launch Octopus yet again. Will Tass become an animal cruelty activist? And, and, uh, 
repent for his cruelty against Chill Penguin? Or will Task cut off Launch Octopus's tentacles? I guess let's find out. Oh, Launch Octopus got him for a, a split second, but it didn't matter. Man, maybe he should have cut off his tentacles. I don't know. Either way, Launch Octopus did die, and uh, I guess it's time to move on with the stage. Let's see. Is there any more? Re is there one more refight? No, this is the fun part. This is the best part. Yeah. Yeah. V using a Sting Chameleon's weapon there is so cool. There's a few places in this game where Sting Chameleon's weapon is extra fun. Like, it's always useful to do the invincibility thing. I mean, you look rainbow. It's fun. But anyway, let's fight a uh, Flame Mammoth here. He is weak to tornadoes because uh, he's fire. And I, I guess you blow out the fire this way. I assume that's why. And he's dead. And the platform is moving right, so Mega Man X slowly shifts towards the exit door while he explodes. What a play by Taz. Taz is pulling the strings this entire time. This is just crazy stuff here, gamers. And now we get to fight probably the most forgettable castle boss in the entirety of Mega Man X. Maybe that's up for debate, but I mean, like, I guess you could say the spider could be more forgettable, but I mean, come on, this guy... Who, who remembers this guy? I mean, I remember this guy. But who, who thinks about this guy actively? Anyway, great boss fight still. That was very impressive. And uh, it's time to move on to Sigma Stage 4. Now, gamers, this may be hard to believe, but Sigma Stage 4 is the final Sigma Stage. And let's see how Mega Man X handles this. We're seeing some backwards wall jumps, which I don't understand, but I do appreciate. I think it's really cool to look at. I don't know how Mega Man faces left while jumping on the right wall, but... I'm not going to complain about it, nor am I going to snitch on Mega Man and tell Sigma that that's what's going on. Because Sigma does not know what's about to hit him right here. He's about to send the dog after him, thinking the dog has any chance. I mean, come on. Oh, the dog's, the dog's actually getting in. Mega Man is damaged. Mega Man was one-shot by Sigma at any point. Mega Man has no armor, no heart tanks, and only two upgrades were required in the entire game. And one of them was off of Zero's dead body which is insanity. And the other one was the dash boots, which of course you have to get. But it's time for the Sigma fight. Ooh, doing it this way. That's a very ballsy task, but you know what? I believe in you. If you saw my How to Beat Mega Man X1 the Cool Wave video, you would know I normally uh, wall jump and then go down and hit him on the way back. But I mean, this is obviously a lot faster. And wow, that was really cool. That's also one of the coolest versions of Sigma. I don't know if you guys agree, but uh, comment down below your favorite version of Sigma because I like lightsaber Sigma. That's, I think that's really cool. This Sigma, on the other hand, is weird. I think it's cool that this uh, robot is in the background the whole time, like alluding to it, but uh, anyway, this is the final boss battle. Every single thing that does damage is a one-hit kill right now, by the way. So Taz is really playing with fire, especially dashing around on top of the darn things. My goodness gracious. And it's done! It's done! Taz has beaten Mega Man X in such a stylistic and absurd fashion. I am extremely impressed. Not even, not one hard tank was gotten, not one sub tank was gotten, no armor, no helmet upgrade. The, even the buster upgrade wasn't picked up properly. It was ripped out of Zero's arm. How is that going to work in Mega Man X 2? Are you going to rebuild Zero without his gun? I don't know. Either way, as we can see, uh, Sigma's fort was, fortress was just destroyed by Mega Man X, and uh, that's the game. What an incredible task. That was absolutely insane. I hope you guys enjoyed that task as much as I did, because, I mean, I, like I always say at the end of these task videos, I was expecting a lot, but I was still blown away. Mega Man X is a game I've beaten a multitude of times, and I've seen a lot of speedruns dedicated to Mega Man X, so I know most of the strategies, and Taz still used a bunch of unique things that I have never even heard of. That boss skip in the first Sigma stage? I mean, what was that? Have any of you guys seen that before? Anyway, I'm not going to just start rambling about how good that was. You guys saw the video too, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I will do the Dashless Mega Man X playthrough very soon, but I am out of town right now, which is why I'm going to be doing a few more of these task reactions before I start getting into the other videos like Mega Man X 3 The Cool Way, for example. But you guys have also requested that I cover the Mega Man X tasks, so of course I'm going to do that. And again, if you have any other ideas for a video you want to see, please leave a comment down below, because as you can tell, I tend to listen to you guys when it comes to comment well when it comes to video suggestions if you guys tell me i'm wrong i'm not gonna listen unless you're subscribed of course in which case anyway i really do hope you enjoyed that video i hope you enjoyed the task and uh, i'll see you guys next time